All right, hey, welcome back everybody. Uh, today I'm gonna be installing these Beam Tech, is what I'm using again, the LED headlight kit. But I'm gonna be putting those right here on each side. So I'm gonna show you how to access that, how to get the bulbs in and what they look like before and after. So let's get to it. I can uh, see, I'm gonna see if I can't get to the um, bulbs here. You can see them down there. So let's see here. All right, so we can see, this is a little demonstration of what the lights look like before. So they unlock the car, you can see they do that typical lighting. Pretty bright, but the headlights uh, I'm gonna swap them to LED too so um, when I come under here into the hood which I just closed I saw that I can see the um, bulbs that I already showed you you can actually see it glowing that's where the things coming from but I don't want it to heat up too much all right so I'm gonna try and what I'm doing is I'm putting my hand straight into here. It's kind of like a little tunnel where I can fit my hand. So going under the uh, the arm for the cross support and just pinching these guys right here. And this will slide right off. Uh, just like that. And then you take the bulb counterclockwise and there you go. So that's what the bulb looks like that's an h11 you don't use the h7 so look pretty similar to the headlights same kind of idea except it's got a different style connector so put those quick i can show you that this is how you're going to want to get into those bulbs because i showed you it was kind of dark but right there you're looking at the top of the engine you just kind of come down in here and you just go under there. Yeah, so basically go beside the coolant hose and you can see everything's pretty much just within there. So I fit my arm in just like that and you can see me down here. The other side, a little bit tighter, um, not too crazy, but it's really just gonna be that you're gonna have to stretch like all the way around this hose or you're gonna have to kind of push it. You wanna be very careful with stuff like this because this this likes to break and so does this. So I'd avoid like touching this at all. So, you know, come around here. You can of course remove this, you know, just be very careful. The other side's gonna be a little more difficult, but you can come around up in here you can see the other side in there it's already all set up or there's the option where you can try and like remove bolts like this one some uh, vehicles have this little cutout here uh, has like little swivels on it and then you can kind of lean this out but mine's solid um, so you might want to try and take these bolts out and like lean the uh, belly pan down a little bit so you can get in there if you got um, bigger arms or something so I'm gonna go through the same area to get it back in, of course. So we'll just put that in there. Kind of move it until it drops in. And that's clicked in there. And then you just connect these two together. So passenger side here is installed so we should be able to see a decent comparison all right all right so now i'm gonna get to the other side you can see pretty much the same deal um right in between the coolant reservoir and the prime rail you can see the light through an opening i guess depending on what options you have on the car you'll be able to see this um, so, uh, there is kind of that tunnel again. I think it's a little hard to get to. Maybe if you put your arm by the, uh, uh, 
anyways, the coolant hose, and then you do the same pinching, loosening, twisting, and removing. And then there you go. Other side is full boom, real quick. I mean, honestly, if you got uh, enough space for your arm and stuff to get in there, this is a lot quicker of a deal than um, the headlights or I think any of the other bulbs. So, let's see how this looks here. If they're both installed here, you can see now what they look like. There it is. Much brighter. So, the reason it was doing that, flashing like that, um, is because they didn't have the can harness. So since they were just plugged straight in there, uh, it wasn't working correctly because the lighting module is like freaking out. It's not seeing the right resistance. So we're gonna have to use something like this. It's, these are kind of dirty, so I've been using them for a little while now. I was kind of hanging them in there to test them. Um, this is what the little, can harness will look like so there's just this you know, some kind of resistor or something in here and it just plugs in line of that connector so you plug in the harness from the car on one side and then the bulb to the other and then basically it'll make it so it doesn't flash anymore so you pretty much i can tell you right now you're going to need this if you do this job because um i, I doubt it'll work on you know other people's other car but just ask the manufacturer, like say like I get all my stuff from Amazon, you just tell the seller like I'm gonna need the can bus harness. Don't wait to figure out that it doesn't work and then you know go asking me or asking them later because you can bang it out in one trip. So I'm gonna show you how to put these in real quick. So basically you're gonna have your um, thing plugged in there. You're just gonna pinch this again. I'm gonna unplug it. Make sure their seal stays on there. We're gonna need that. It gets wet in here. And then we'll feed our little can bus harness, as they call it, in here. And you can see the mail in goes in here. Um, this stuff can be plugged in either way, so it's gonna take a little bit of. Well, actually, this one looks like it kind of doesn't, but I think one of them might be trial and error you have to just kind of try it flipped around it might be this one but maybe they're keyed yeah this one doesn't look keyed so i think this one this end will go on either way and if you have a problem or it just doesn't turn on at all then you know that you need to take this connector and just flop it you know 180 that's how a lot of these led kits are so that's on there that's on there this thing you can, uh, I guess, use this like screw hole, like screw it right there. Um, me, I was just kind of like using this. I was just kind of hanging it from somewhere. You can also like tie it to a different harness, like that's hanging up somewhere higher. But I mean, it's really up to you. But I mean, I guess the best method would probably just be screw the two holes right there so it stays still. But I was just hanging it with like some coat hanger and it was working fine. Now you should be able to see that they won't just keep flashing on and off, and they're plenty bright. Um, I don't really need to show you that. I mean, if it's plugged in, it turned on, then it's not going to start flashing because the can, harness, can, can bus harness will work just fine. So that's pretty much how you install them. Um, if you have any questions, you, of course, can leave them in the comments. That should be pretty much it. Um, so let me know if you have any questions. I'm always willing to help. You've probably seen the video comments that I answer almost every question. If you don't get answered, I 
probably didn't see it honestly but uh thanks for watching everybody